Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to Short Ground channel. This is Fusion 360 series series and uh, today we are going to design a um, mosh fat enclosure box in an organic shape. So first things first we need to import an STL file of the mosh fat model. So first thing first insert mesh from your hard disk. Be sure you have millimeter selected, click center, move to ground, ok. Go to bodies, select the mesh, right click and flat shade it. Now you have flat shaded look, as you can see. Now we go into the main component and disable design history. So we can, can convert it, this to be wrap. So once you click the disable design history, we go to mesh body and convert mesh to be wrap and we have this converted to a be wrap body as you can see here you can remove delete and uh, go to component again and turn on design history capture design history here okay as you can see we have a body okay and uh, you can clean the body by clicking on the triangles and hit delete it will assume a nicely the, the the planes as you can see if you want you can do the whole body so let's first i like to to design a, a body sketch of the base so we can have a guidelines to work it to work it and uh, well, let's start to design a sketch we choose the xy plane and let's start projecting these outside lines here. Just don't select the old body, just the lines. You can hide to check. And for selecting the circles, I, go, I like to use a rectangular and go in the centers, like so. Click here and the opposite. Go to the opposite hole and do the same thing. Now you have the four points for the all four uh, corn, uh, holes of the PCB. Click escape, right click on the rectangular. So you have it all selected and click normal construction here. or just hit X. I like to hit X. It's quick. So, C for circle and uh, select the points we made and just go all four circles. It, it just snaps in the design like so. Now, as you can see, if we, add, if we add the body, we have the baselines. Stop the sketch for now. And we have to do now is um, organic shape for a MOSFET. What I like to do is to, uh, first, we need to create form here. You automatically sl uh, select the scope menu. Go to box and direction is symmetric two points rectangle so be sure you, you leave a good margin here so let's go to a corner to another and uh, let's inflate this this box by dragging this as you can see it's symmetric be sure you select new body and uh, a little mo bit more here as you can see 
you don't need to be so precise because we're going to edit it now click OK as you can see you should have two bodies now let's see okay as you can see you have the two bodies here but let's go back to the sculpt mode what I like to do is to go to opacity select 50% here so you can see the MOSFET inside so let's tune this, this shape first we click motif, uh, symmetry we, we need a symmetry between these two, two sides so I select two symmetrical planes click OK it will draw a line green line as you can see so now whatever I do to these faces it happens the other side so we just need to click modify tool and start working the shape as you can see we have um, the scale tool here the move tool the drag tool the circle tool we can do all you want on the with this tool we can uh, filter the selection we can select all only the faces or only the edges only the points etc and uh, as you can see if I rotate this ear this face it will do the same in the other side so I will try to do an organic click to this without compromising the expat so select another face and slightly don't don't overdo things because when you look it will look ugly just be slightly modifying tuning and uh, tweaking but uh, don't uh, exaggerate because you <laughs> need to start all over again so now I want this to go down like so and um, but first I need to this to shrink for the, to this side a little bit then rotate it's, it, this is very difficult to explain how this works you need to get your hands on it to understand you need to turn around several times you need to do, do small tweaks scale as you can see the scale works like this scales the old I I'm only selecting the the faces here not the edges okay as you can see I exaggerated here and now the 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 vertices are coming out so I need to make this a little bit inflate here and here so it's very finicky to adjust this but in the end you will what really matters is if you like the design it's all that matters so I like to flat the this 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 shape here just select two and the other two get selected click OK we don't need the modifying tool right click and select, select flatten now these two faces these four faces are more flattened than before as you can see it's a good shape for now so I like this shape let's click um, let's go to um, modeling sorry patch now we have the patch mode as you can see 
we have the two bodies here let's transform this body to a more transparent one so you can see the inside okay now we need to perform a cut um, if you like you do just a plain cut with a face this is this is the body so but uh, for demonstration purposes i may do a more curved cut so we need to draw a plane to cut just select a um, select a spline on the patch menu and try to do a round profile now that you have the sketch we need to extrude be sure you select the extrude orange extrude it will extrude splines right uh, click on the spline and choose symmetric and drag and you have the plane new body it's very important of course as you can see we are going to perform a cat now click on modify split body we're going to split this body off so the body to split is the body and splitting to is this plane we just did okay be sure you add the body one click ok turn on body one as you can see we have the the body cut in half less we don't need this anymore we can click remove and uh, i want to call this mosfet it's easier to identify this one will be the top and this one will be the bottom so this is not over yet because as you can see this is a solid piece let me turn off the sketch this is a solid piece now as you can see we need to create an hole a no and not an hole um uh, this a shell okay click shell and hit the the face here and you can choose about two millimeters click ok go to the other other part of the body of the enclosure and select the face and shell let's choose two millimeters too and as you can see now we have a nice top bottom shell but as you can see our MOSFET will need uh, some posts to hold to the to the box so let's pick up the, the sketch we draw in the beginning let's start to outline these circles we can select the same plane about 1.5 0.5 and uh, let's extrude We need to extrude symmetrical, just exaggerate 
it needs to pass the body so don't worry select new body so we, you will create four new bodies okay as you can see this will be the posts that going hold the MOSFET in place just check if you don't hit any components okay looks fine to me so now click OK we have four posts let's start working on them first uh, thing to do is to cut the excess so this can be very tricky because you easily make a mistake so you need to combine the target body will be at the post and the post will be having the two bodies top and bottom as you can see and with it will perform a cut and don't forget very important keep the tools or you get this body removed okay click okay and now it's cut let's do all thing again so for all four posts okay so combine I already have selected the post so the two bodies will be this and this keep tools okay Okay, now we have all cut it up. We need trim it up. I think it's trimmed. Okay, let's start now to remove the this post here. So I just click here, and you have this dashed line. Just click remove, remove, remove. Remove, remove, okay, it's, it miss, I missed this one, so now we have all the five, the four posts, but we need uh, to cut this uh, in order to, to separate it we need to do this before attaching these to the bodies of course let's turn on the MOSFET here so I need to cut right here and right here for the PCB space so let's and cover the top first I like to do construction offsets click the construction click OK here this is one and the other construction Okay, we don't need the offset. You just need to to draw these uh, construction planes. It's easier. Now you can hide the MOSFET, as you can see. We have the construction here. Now just need to do a split body. Choose the body to three four and the splitting tool will be this i don't know if if you can you can select two splitting bodies but no we can select only one 
so let's perform the down first it's cut now repeat four posts select splitting tool now the top one okay let's hide the construction planes as you can see we need to hide this excess here just click remove now we have the posts done all I have to do now is click turn on the, the top and just combine this with this and this and this and this will form one join just move the keep tools click OK and go for the we hide the top go for the bottom and combine again this this one this one this one this one join and select keep tools and you have the top as you can see it's getting there now now uh, we need to draw the holes for the screws uh, this is the easiest part or uh, the more difficult because you have a round shape here but let's try it so let me think how we're going to do this you have the whole tool you have to select a plane but I think we need to find a plane first offset the plane the XY plane here until we get the bottom click OK now we can turn on the sketch initial sketch click on this plane and try to drag the hole to the center so this will be about five You need the counter bar. Oh, so, so this is the invert. So we need to flip direction. As you can see, all you need to do is to adjust the counter bar here to go a little bit inside, just like so, and the rest of the screw to go. All the way down more or less and uh, now diameter uh, will be a uh, free free millimeter screw and uh, five for the counter bar it's maybe too much about 4.5 Let's check it out how it looks from the top. A little bit more like so. Yeah. It looks fine. Click OK. As you can see, we have now the hole for the screw. Let's repeat it for the other screws. 
just now we have the we have all select um, memorized I would like to snap it but it don't let, let me snap because I didn't draw um, didn't throw uh, um, a sketch let's click OK so the same for the all other holes if you project the lines and of the sketch to this plane it will snap to the center but I'm for the sake of this tutorial it's getting longer I know I'm not going to, to do this click OK another hole it's precise enough click OK now you have the four holes for the four screws as you can see so now we need to do the hole for the the wiring it's very easy to do we just need to draw a, scra a sketch and let's draw a slot a center slot let's find it's about here sorry my mistake center point like so click stop sketch now let's extrude this do an extruded cut from the profile Just be sure you don't have, uh, not have the mouse effect selected just click ok so we are, well, you, we are eating the, the posts here we need to correct this so let's edit the sketch now the slot is thin it's uh, small but the wires can go through the slot and uh, if you want you can draw the, the vents let's do a sketch another sketch and select the profile uh, the face so maybe another slot
but this time I need the center to center exactly like so about that now I need to um, create um, rectangular for a pattern double click this the quantity here will be one and here ah, you need to select symmetric it and the shoes about five this to be hot Maybe like so click OK now let's extrude this click E and select all the profiles go to objects and, and select MOSFET click OK and you have now the MOSFET case design as you can see now let's go to render apply some colors click A for appearance so plastic uh, opaque uh, yellow and maybe gray now let's edit the colors I like darker gray and uh, more orange or reddish look done let's close it as you can see we have the shape for the MOSFET case so if you want to do the legs it's pretty easy to do just uh, let's do a plane here let's go back to model and uh, do an offset plane about there we need to catch a bit little bit inside of the lowest part so it's about there click ok let's side the other planes so that we don't get confused so as you can see the plane is in the lower it's lower than the lower edge of the this circle here now if we need to project this sketch for sketch circles so create a sketch and project uh, these circles here this all gets a little bit out center but we can fix it this later and stop sketch I'm sorry not stop sketch outline let's outline this click OK O for outline O for outline I mean offset not outline and now you can extrude this Don't forget to select join and uh, you can extrude it about three or maybe three four okay now as you can see we have a, a legs where you can uh, put a screw and then uh, that uh, sticky sponges that uh, 
all the MOSFET uh, in place so it's all let's start render so to render it's very easy just go to render we already applied the the, the colors I just gonna put this MOSFET SCL to green and uh, as you can see I'm gonna show it quickly we have a MOSFET case organic it's a, it's a, it's a little bit worky but in the end you get a awesome result you only need four screws for this and you can apply all, all your project boxes that works with the PCB it's it's not very difficult to do it's uh, a little bit uh, uh, time consuming but in the end it compensates because it's a different for everyone everybody else so so let's start render this it looks like a ladybug to me okay if you want you can add some texture to the, the face but I'm not going to do in this tutorial so it's a long tutorial this one I hope you like it you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your friends and uh, until the next video bye bye